Okay, so if there's something that I'm really bad at talking about because I don't know anything about the topic, pretty much, and I never took time to learn because it's not useful in my life, it's crypto trading and how to become a crypto trader. But today we'll cover that and we'll learn together how that works in this video. What's up traders, welcome back to Bangkok once again in my apartment. It feels good to be here, it's comfortable and it's hot because I turned off the conditioning for the video. But I want to talk today about crypto trading. I have a hard time saying the word. It's like not working. I would say algo instead of crypto. So we'll kind of do it right, I hope. As you know, since a couple of weeks, I partnered with Pepperstone for some videos. They sponsor some of my videos because I can provide you with more content, more value with more people from their team. And that's, I think, awesome. And today they offered me to cover a topic that I would never cover myself. And that's good because they can cover it in my, for me instead. So the topic is crypto trading. Okay, the thing is I've never traded crypto myself. I always had people encourage me to trade cryptos and I never want to jump into it because it's a market that's not really conducive for my own trading and there's no place to back this or to test the strategies because there's no data on the market. But I had a discussion with Sam who's working in the uh, client services, I believe at Pepperstone. Here's a bit of background about Sam. My name's Sam Holman. I'm a client relationship manager at Pepperstone. So I do real directly with client queries. I help them get started with their account. If any questions come through to me, I'll put them in the right track. Uh, through my millennial knowledge of crypto, I've been able to be a bit of a reference here at Pepperstone and be able to put people in the right direction. If they have any questions based on crypto, then I'll be able to help them out. In short, today we'll cover the topics for beginners. So if you're just starting out cryptos and you, or, when you, or you want to know how to be able to make money trading cryptos, that's going to be of good help. If you're later, if you make a living trading cryptos, you might not get much value from this video, but that's still good. You can still watch and uh, tell me your thoughts in the comment, of course, down below. So we'll cover an overview of crypto trading through Pepperstone, like how they work, what cryptos they have, uh, what can you trade there, then the pros and the cons of crypto trading, and finally how to make it work as a trader and, and make money from cryptos, which is going to be a big schedule. So let's get started with that right away. Let's first take a look about the product that are available through Pepperstone. I'm taking Pepperstone as an example. There are plenty of brokers for cryptos that specialize only in cryptos or in cryptos and other things. Pepperstone are regulated. They do Forex and cryptos as well now. They have indices and everything around, which we talked about earlier in other videos. We won't get there, but basically they're reliable. So I wanted to ask them what they have as product and exactly what these products are. Pepperstone has a fantastic range of crypto products available. We have up to five of the top cryptocurrencies, namely Bitcoin, so the king and original crypto. Uh, at Pepperstone, we see the most flow come through with Bitcoin specifically. Uh, and we've continued to see that flow pick up in the last couple of weeks as we continue to see more, uh, I guess, publicized news around the block halvening coming forward. We're gonna see and expecting to see more flow coming through with Bitcoin in the coming months. Next to Bitcoin, we have Ethereum, so the blockchain based operating system where you can build decentralized applications on top of it. Next to these two, we have three fork coins of Bitcoin. So we have Litecoin, Dash and uh, Bitcoin Cash. So these coins offer similar utility to Bitcoin, uh, just different governance models really. Um, in addition to this, we're looking at adding a few cryptos in the near future. We do have the plan to add a crypto index, which will be comprised of the top 10 cryptos in the market at the moment. And that will be something for more maybe newer traders to crypto that don't really want to specify an, a crypto asset they want to trade. They want to trade it on a broader, broader spectrum. That'll be available in, a, in the next couple of weeks. One thing Etienne to take note of is when you're trading with Pepperstone, you're trading a CFD product. So you're trading a contract for difference, uh, which means you don't actually own the underlying, underlying asset you're trading. So it differs quite a lot from those that might have traded physically. Uh, and it means that there are a few benefits on either side. For myself, I like to trade uh, both. I think there's an avenue to trade physical, um, particularly for my longer term holdings. Uh, and then on the shorter intraday, day to day trading, I like to trade CFDs as you can get out in and out quick, quicker and there are a lot more benefits I see on a day to day basis for CFDs. And a question I had for Sam, which I'm ordering myself is with all the headline, the criticism, the news and everything around, why would anyone trade cryptos? What's the point of trading a crypto and why is it so good? So the main advantage of trading crypto, I believe, is the volatility. So with volatility creates opportunity and with cryptocurrency, the volatility is an inherent aspect of it. Something that is new, um, it's illiquid and it means that there's a lot of volatility, which is great for traders. Uh, for myself, I feel like the crypto market is a lot uh, of FOMO. There's a lot of emotion driven into the market 
and it means that it can really create opportunities. Sometimes uh, there might be irrational pricing, and it means that you can really capture those, uh, those moments of volatility. You see in 2017, those price swings um, of 20 to 30% in a day, and that's a trader's dream. If you've traded FX before, you might have a technical foundation of um, trading um, on an analytical basis. You can mirror that directly to cryptocurrency from a technical level. Um, another advantage is the fact that it's quite immune to economic data and geopolitical turmoil. So this means that um, you don't have to worry too much as a swing, swing trader that a political leader might say something sensitive and ruin your two week long trade. When you're trading CFDs, there's a lot of uh, positives to go with it that you might not see with trading on a physical exchange. On a physical exchange, there are a lot of barriers of entry. So you have additional costs to get your funds on board, withdrawing your money, uh, trading fees, as well as creating your own wallet. And that can be difficult, especially with storing your funds on an exchange that you might not trust. With Pepperstone, you can trade uh, in under five minutes. With Bitcoin, you can get your funds on board. Your funds will be stored in a tier one bank and you'll be trading in a regulated environment. All big pluses if you're trading at the moment on a physical exchange and wish to move to a CFD structure. As well as this, you have the ability to go long and short. So as we saw in 2018 in the big downturn, uh, you would have been sitting on your hands and waiting for that buy opportunity, that breakout, that potential reversal and bounce. It really limits your trading. And with Pepperstone, you can go both long and short. Another positive is the leverage. So with leverage, you can actually place for less margin and open a trade of larger exposure. So it means that whilst in some cases you can multiply your gains, you can conversely multiply your losses. If you're understanding your position sizing and actually putting forward uh, the correct position, then you can actually reduce your risk as instead of having to place the full amount of margin on the trade, you can place a smaller amount, therefore creating less risk for you on the downside. But of course, crypto trading has its disadvantages and here are some of them. So I touched on the main positive for myself being the volatility, but I feel like it is a bit of a downside as well. So uh, in, in some cases, you can see the market move 20 to 30%. Um, if you don't manage your risk correctly, this can mean uh, ramifications for your account. And it's something you need to be considering when you're entering uh, the crypto market itself. Another downturn is the technicalities behind getting your account set up. So as I mentioned, if you're trying to trade on an exchange, uh, you need to decide whether you want to keep your funds on the exchange, create your wallet. There's a lot of complexities and that keeps and deters a lot of people from getting involved in the crypto market. Another one specifically, if you're trading uh, CFD products, is you don't physically own the Bitcoin or the cryptocurrency you're trading, which means you can't actually contribute and add utility to the, the crypto market. You can't transfer your, your Bitcoin globally, which is what it's designed to use for. It's purely just to speculate and to trade on. Lastly, because I want to make sure these videos are super tactical, I ask Sam, what is advice would be for someone starting to trade cryptos? What, would, what should people focus on to be able to either transition to cryptos or just start in crypto trading? Sure. So the first thing that I did when I got involved with cryptocurrency was that I researched Bitcoin, the blockchain, cryptocurrency. I think understanding it from a fundamental perspective is really important when trading and on a day-to-day -day basis. So whilst you can technically transfer your skills from another market, maybe FX related or traditional markets, uh, from a fundamental perspective, uh, it gives you more scope on understanding the news and what moves the price of Bitcoin. In addition to this, what you can do is you can also open up a demo account. So we see a lot of people opening up demo accounts. Maybe they've traded in FX before and they want to delve their toes into uh, the crypto market. You can open a demo account. You can trial existing strategies that you might use on uh, other correlated markets and really test that and see that if this is the market for you. And lastly, I think surrounding yourself with people like yourself, getting involved with influencers, getting involved with like-minded people uh, to help you through this process. Understanding crypto, the volatility, the complexity behind it is all important to getting a better understanding of what, what it is, why it has a place in financial markets and why I believe it has a future as well. So surrounding yourself uh, with like-minded people is a really important scope uh, or aspect of getting involved with cryptocurrency as well. Firstly, if you're getting involved, um, I myself, I try to find reputable sources to, for my news. So one thing with the crypto market is that there's a lot of uh, publicized articles and things that might direct you on a certain narrative and it skews your bias. So trying to find reputable sources for your news. I like to use Bloomberg and Reuters, uh, Coindesk, a local one in Australia I like to use is Mickey. All these websites give you up-to-date news and it means that you can keep on top of the crypto markets. Uh, myself, I like to look at um, breakouts technically with crypto. Um, as I mentioned, 
moose uh, can generally range between you know 10 to 20 percent in some days and it really gives an opportunity uh, for breakouts either on the long side or the short side uh, for traders and that's my go-to trade Yes, I hope that was a useful video. I hope you liked it. Comment below with your thought. For all my Bitcoin fans, I hope you got values from this and that you can find me trade cryptos and that I can teach you something about crypto finally. Let me know your thoughts, of course, in the comment section. Here, as always, are a few comments from the past video. Appreciate you guys for leaving comments. These are awesome. Keep them coming. And if you have any question for me, for Sam, for Pippa Stone, make sure you comment below. They will be answering your question. I will push them to answer your question and force them to do it because that's good. And uh, give a like on the review if you liked it. If you want to know more about cryptos, give it a like. And I'll see if I do more videos on that in the future with other guests. Also check out the link from Pepperstone if you're going to be able to trade with them and their awesome team in the description. And I'll catch you back here in the next video. Ciao.